Paul is on the air. This is, of course, the final home game of the 2015 season. And you're going to get your first look at the Palm Beach Knights. As this is the first visit that they've made to the downtown rec center to play the flight. Played a couple of games uh, at their place. Both went Palm Beach's way, but both were close. Kamar Russell to jump it up against Ch Charles Lewis. The tip controlled by Palm Beach. Taking it all the way in and scoring is number 21, Omar Graham. And just like that, about 10 seconds in, Palm Beach leads 2 nothing. Flight missing a lot of their bigs tonight, so their lack of size could be a problem as the game goes on. This is A.J. Williams with the ball. Alex Richmond now. Shot clock down to six. Richmond lets fly for three. No good. Johnson with the attempted tip in. Didn't get it to go. Charles Lewis, he missed the shot. Russell may have gotten away with the foul. Now there's a steal. But Graham stepped on the end line. It would be flight ball out of bounds. So 40 seconds in, the score remains 2-0 Palm Beach. Delanche Johnson to Williams to Ed to Microwave Mincy, who gets the start tonight. Richmond to Mincy. And there's a near steal. Mincy gets it. His short jumper. Short. Rebound pulled down by Scott Drawn, number six. Lewis comes the other way. Banks, number 10. Back to Drawn. Drawn for three. No good. Now there's a steal off the rebound. And the three-pointer by Fred Brown, number 55, is banged home, and it's 5-0. There's a steal. Bad pass by Mincy. Ran out the other way. Drawn back to Brown. That one bounces tantalizingly around the rim. Doesn't go. Richmond takes it the other way. Foul goes against Lewis, number 33. Richmond to the line to shoot a pair. It's a nice follow by Kamar Russell, but it didn't count. They'd already called the foul against Lewis. So the score is 5 nothing Palm Beach. Alex Richmond for the flight. Shooting two. First one up and good. And the flight around the board. Second one also, nothing but net. And it's 5 2. Oh, somebody left Graham wide open. Graham couldn't convert. Somebody's open somewhere. Delanche Johnson fakes the three. Now he takes it in. Double clutches and scores. Nice kiss off the glass by Delanche Johnson. And it's 5-4. Palm Beach with a one-point lead in the ball. Oh, good pass. Well, there's a travel. Are you kidding me? They called Delanche Johnson for the foul, but he traveled before there was a foul. No oh, and worse yet, they're going to call it a shooting foul? Are you kidding me? First free throw by Graham was good, and that makes it 6-4. And he bangs them both home, 7-4. Richmond to Johnson. Johnson, he's fouled. 
Now the question is, was he shooting? He says he was. I don't believe he was. But he's going to get the call, so I guess uh, turnabout's fair play. One bad call deserves another. First one up and good. 7-5. Palm Beach up two. Delonche with one more free throw. You can cut that lead in half. You got it. 9.25 to go first quarter. Lewis left wide open. He scores. Shouldn't be that wide open off of a made free throw. Oh, and there's a steal. And that's Johnson's second foul. If Coach Haas is going to leave him in for a little while, he's got to watch himself because he just picked up his second. And there's still 9.13 to go here in the first quarter. Now we've got a foul against Alex Richmond. Referees sporting some un unusual referee shirts today. Drawn's baseline jumper, not this time. Rebound, Braun. Good block by the flight. Not sure who got that one. Might have been Delanche. AJ Williams the other way. He lays it in. Good transition basket. Lewis. Back out to Brown. Brown for three. That's his second of the game. Apparently he's got some range. It's like the 1970s set shot, but it goes in. Flight not taking care of the ball, and they pay for it again as Graham lays it home, and it's 14 to 8. Flight plagued by turnovers here in the early going. Williams takes it in and scores as they almost turn it over again. Jump hook, good. Kind of a tough shot by Lewis that time as he was contested by Kamar Russell. But got it to go and it's 16 to 10. Richmond left wide open. Johnson head fakes. Now he takes it in. Didn't get it to go, it was a good move. Graham, that was three steps. Sylvester Banks scores after taking three steps. If you don't believe me, look at it on the replay and it'll bear me out. Ed Mincy takes it in. No good. He wanted a foul. Doesn't get it to go. Now he steals it back. One against three. Takes it in. He scores! And they call an offensive foul against Ed Mincy. Unbelievable. Number four, Michael Webster in the game now for Palm Beach. Brown, that time he's short. Rebound, Kamar Russell. Here come the flight the other way. They had the microwave Mincy for three. Book it. The microwave's heating up. Sylvester Banks for three. No. 18-13 is your score. As we approach six and a half to go here in the first quarter. A.J. Williams, free throw line jumper. No good. There's a steal. Flight have numbers. Four on two. A.J. Williams lays it in. After a nifty pass from Delanche Johnson. And that makes it 18-15. We have a timeout as the Palm Beach coach has seen enough. 
We'll be back in a minute. Flight coaching staff telling the players to put some pressure on the ball to help try to slow them down a little bit. Palm Beach is looking to run every chance they get as they're turning even non transition situations into transition points so far. So pressuring the ball isn't a bad idea. Banks guarded by Richmond spins inside, doesn't get it to go. Kamar Russell the rebound. Richmond takes it all the way in, throws it up. He draws the foul. That foul goes against Webster who just entered the game a few moments ago. And Richmond back to the line to shoot a pair. Just under six to go first quarter. 5.57 to be exact. Woo! Richmond's first free throw is good. That makes it 18-16. Second one also good. And it's a one point contest at 18-17. Thanks to Brown. Brown nearly had it ripped. Oh, there's a layup by Banks. That was good defense by the flight. The ball just fell right into Banks' hands when he was underneath the basket and he just grabbed it and laid it in. 12 on the shot clock now, Russell with it. Inside to Mincy. Turn around, Jay. It's good. 2019. That's a bad pass by Palm Beach. Flight can take the lead with the bucket here as they trail by one. That one was shot from Seminole County by Richmond. Didn't get it to go. There's three steps again by Banks. Brown with a nifty move. A little show the ball. Go underneath the arm, lay it in. Well done by Brown, and it's 22-19. And here come the big guys in for Palm Beach. Number three, Elijah Jones, and number 45, David Gabriel. 6 7 and 6 9 respectively so just like that Palm Beach inserts some major size into the lineup AJ Williams good head fake and that foul goes against Jones number three AJ Williams to the line to shoot a pair Actually, they call it a non-shooting foul. How was that a non-shooting foul? Uh, Russell has a rip from him. Two on two the other way. Don't commit your third foul there. Brown again for three. Drains another one. 25-19, a six-point Palm Beach lead. That's another foul against Webster. That's at least two on him. 
left-handed fighter in the bonus. First one up and good for Delanche. Four seventeen to go, first quarter. Twenty-five twenty. Palm Beach leads. They have led from the outset, but it's been pretty close. Second one, no good. And they call Webster for a charge. That's his third. This has not been Webster's day so far. If you call a charge on Ed Mincy, not the other one, you've got to call that a charge as well, though. A.J. Williams takes it in, dishes it out to Mincy. Mincy's made his last two. Book it. Three in a row. The trifecta for Ed Mincy. The microwave is heating up, 25-23. And there's a basket by Brown as he takes it in inside and scores. 27-23. Mincy, four, not that time. Kamar gets the rebound. A.J. Williams, free throw line jumper, he drills it. A.J. Williams having a nice first quarter. Hey, Sproul misses. Webster gets the rebound. Inside. To Gabriel. Gabriel called for traveling. Anthony Daniels comes in for Webster. Daniels wearing number 24. 27-25 is your score. Richmond for three. That's short. Off the side of the backboard. Not his best effort that time. This is Brown. Takes it in. Dishes it off. Brown for three. He's got another one. That's at least four three-pointers for him now. Richmond takes it in. Good drop pass. Oh, they call Fallon Jones. That looked like a clean block to me. Kamar Russell going to the line to shoot a pair. Got to say, that did look like a clean block. 30-25. Palm Beach up five. First one, no good. Greg St. Remy in for the flight as the microwave takes a seat. Oh, Kamar missed them both. So the flight have missed their last three in a row after making their first about five or six in a row from the charity stripe. Good pass inside. It's a great pass into Daniels, but he didn't know what to do with it once he got it. And some alert heads up defense by Richmond caused the travel. Russell, back to Richmond. Richmond weaves through traffic, out to Johnson. He traveled. He also stepped on the line apparently. Another Florida flight turnover. They've been pretty generous giving the ball away this quarter. Brown, not that time. Rebound Jones. Good defense by Russell against Jones. That was an offensive goaltend, no call. Here comes A.J. Williams the other way. Takes it himself all the way and lays it in. 
No resistance at all, and it's 30-27. Minute 45 to go, first quarter. He carried it, no call. Spruill Jr. Actually, Spruill the third. His jumper is way short. St. Remy rebounds. Bad pass. And Brown gives it to Gabriel. And Gabriel's jump hook is good after he knocked a flight player down and the flight player didn't get a call for that. Richmond long distance, no. Rebound Gabriel. Somebody got to get up on Brown. One minute to go first quarter. Jones against Russell. Jones takes it in, flushes it, and then he hung on the rim for about an hour and a half and they didn't call anything. Johnson takes it inside. He missed it. 34 seconds to go, first quarter. Come on, man, y'all get your hands up. Brown takes it in, scores. Delanche didn't get any help. And it's 36-27, just like that, a nine-point lead. A.J. Williams, no. Final 10 seconds of the quarter. Screen by Gabriel, Brown shoots, missed it. And that's the end of the first quarter. The Palm Beach Knights opening up a nine point lead at 36-27 after most of the first quarter was pretty close. Combination of bad free throw shooting by the flight, some terrible ball handling and uh, some wretched defense. All adds up to a nine point deficit. And throw in a bad call or two. Or three. There's any number of bad calls against the flight, and only two that I can think of against the Knights. And I always thought the home team was supposed to get the benefit of the officiating if there was any advantage one way or the other, but hopefully it evens itself out over the course of the game. And number 20, Adrian Malcolm's in the game. And Kamar Russell takes a seat. So this is a very, very short flight lineup. They really don't have a true big man. Seven on the shot clock. St. Remy for three. That's short. Rebound Malcolm. He's unable to save it. So Gabriel at 6'9 is being guarded by, well, is that a three or is that a long two? That was a long two by Jones. It's 39-27. So I guess they counted it as three. I thought the referee signaled that it was a long two, but they put up three on the scoreboard.
Ladonche Johnson with a much needed three point basket for the flight, and that makes it 39 30. Oh, good drop pass down into Lewis. Very well done by Drawn there. Fake the shot, passed it in. Lewis had an easy layup. AJ Williams, ball goes off his foot, and it'll be Palm Beach ball. This is Banks back in the game. Cross court, bad pass. Here's St. Remy. He's got Banks to beat. He got fouled. Foul goes against Banks, and St. Remy goes to the line to shoot a pair. That's what you got to do is take it strong to the hole, even though you know you're going to get hacked in the act. Got to do the best you can to finish and try to get a three-point play out of it. St. Remy did well to do that. He didn't get it to go, but he is going to the line to shoot two. First one too strong. Second one, that's a little better. And it's a 10 point lead now, 41-31. 10 20 to go. <laughs> Had a stoppage of play there because they did not turn on the game clock. So they ran five seconds off of it, so it shows 10 15. <laughs> There's a bad pass by Drawn. Too low for Jones to handle. Johnson takes it all the way in himself. No good. And a near tip in by Malcolm. Now he brings it out. Ooh. Risky bounce pass there. AJ Williams can't get it to go. It's a good shot though. Ooh, Lewis is tripped. He goes down hard as does Malcolm. St. Remy saying he fell. I think what actually happened was he clipped the guy that was guarding Lewis, which made Lewis's defender run into Lewis, which made Lewis fall. But St. Remy didn't see that. So when he said I didn't touch him, he was actually accurate. This is Gabriel. Jones for three. Drons follow. Doesn't get it to go. And that foul goes against A.J. Williams. John's first free throw is good. 42-31. That one's short, and Williams rips it down. Nine and a half to go before halftime. Oh, risky pass. Good pass into Williams to Richmond. Drops it off to Malcolm. And what's the call? Defensive three seconds. Yep, the legal defense. So 
So LaDonche Johnson to shoot the technical free throw. It should be flight ball out of bounds after the free throw. He gets it to go. So the lead now back to 10 at 42-32. Johnson threaded the needle with a bounce pass to Richmond, but Richmond wasn't able to handle it. didn't box out and drawn just weaved his way right around a couple of flight players and got the rebound and scored meanwhile a miss by Williams on the other end and it's a 12 point game with the Knights threatening to add to it now we got a foul that fouls against Greg St. Remy that's his second I think it's microwave time. I think we need to put Ed Mincy back in the game for some long range shooting here. First one's good. And Lewis will shoot one more. That one missed badly, and Malcolm picks up the rebound. Gives it to Steve Galvin, who's on the game. And there's an over and back violation. Brown comes back in. And Lewis takes a seat. Banks takes it in, and they call the offensive foul against Banks. Good job of taking a charge by LaDonche Johnson. Malcolm. Head fakes, he's cut off baseline, gives it back out to Galvin. Head fake by Richmond, takes it in. Malcolm, short jumper, too strong. Rebound, Gabriel. Here comes Brown the other way. 44-32 remains the score. In and out, but Gabriel follows with a jump hook. Another offensive rebound. I think the flight has stayed with this small lineup about as long as they can. Light ball out of bounds, 7.49 to go before halftime. Oh, 
Richmond takes it all the way in. Teardrop layup attempt, no good. And it's a run out by the, the Knights. And instead of running out, Brown just stops and shoots a three, and that's at least five for him now. And it's 50 to 32. In a game that feels much closer than that, the fight find themselves down 18. Richmond, the basket counts, and the foul goes against Gabriel. You can tell Richmond's played this game before. He initiated the contact, basically, but the defender is going to get called for that just about every time. Now we've got it. Technical foul. I'm not sure what the Palm Beach coach said, but he just got rung up. So after the technical on the Palm Beach coach, Delonche Johnson at the line. Yeah. Up and good. Cuts the lead to 15 and the flight will have the ball out of bounds. If you smell something cooking, it's because the microwave is back in the game. We called it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, I forgot. Richmond had made a basket, and that was the three point play opportunity. AJ Williams gets a foul. That's at least his second now. by Banks up and good despite the best efforts from some very vociferous flight fans. <laughs> Second one up and good. So it's 52-36. Galvin, jump pass. Six on the shot clock. Baseline jumper, it's good. Delonche Johnson makes it 52-38. 6.35 to go before halftime. Drawn for three, no good. Gabriel, well, you saw it. You saw what happened. That should be flight ball out of bounds. It is. The gym's still buzzing from that Gabriel follow dunk on the other end. It helps to be 6'9", but he's got pretty good leaping ability too. Must be the purple shoes. Oh, 
Delonche Johnson gets his first breather of the game. Ernest Jones and Kamar Russell in. Richmond also comes out, so two of the three primary ball handlers for the flight on the bench. The flight need to uh, tell Steve Galvin not to pick up his dribble and leave his feet when he he leaves his passes or leaves his feet when he passes the ball. And, and intense. Yep. Yep. Jump hook way short, but Drawn gets the rebound. Three on the shot clock. And that foul goes against Galvin. And we got immediate timeout. So the score is 54-38. 5.43 before halftime. Palm Beach in the lead. Be back in a minute on the Flight Basketball Network. It's interesting to see uh, Mark King over there fraternizing with the fans instead of being on the bench. Must be kind of a surreal feeling for him. Flight are the much shorter team, but they're not doing a lot of fundamental things like putting a body on people. Yep. So this is Banks at the line. First one is well short. Score still 54-38. Banks has one more. Missed them both. Offensive rebound though. And Brown has it. Back out to Banks. It's the kind of stuff that just can't happen. Whoa! I think Bank was trying to get the uh, Florida Flight cheerleaders involved in the uh, in the game there. The Ernest Jones to Russell. No call. Good hustle by Mincy. And despite his best efforts, it's going to be Palm Beach basketball. Bad pass. Here comes Russell the other way to Ernest Jones to Galvin. Shoves it off to Williams. He got away with the travel. Lays it in. Cross court pass to Jones. Gabriel. Jones missed the three. 
Jones did a flop like he was trying to draw a foul. At least the refs didn't fall for that. EJ open in the corner. Russell for three. Wow, that was way short. It's like he changed his mind at the last minute and decided not to shoot. But he was already three quarters of the way out of his hands. So we're down to 420 to go before halftime. 5640. There's a foul on Ed Mincy, kind of a ticky tack foul if you ask me. Daniels has come back into the game for Jones. Jones looks like he might be smarting just a little bit. First one is good by Brown. If you figure Brown has five threes plus a few Two-pointers plus a few free throws. Come on, guys. Fuck out, man. There's a rebound by Williams, finally. Play pulling down. Jones to Richmond, who's back in the game. Mincy to Richmond. Richmond goes tumbling. That fell against Gabriel. That's the second time that Richmond has got him leaning into him like that. Johnson getting ready to check back in the game. Richmond, first free throw is no good. Russell comes out. I don't think AJ Williams has had a break yet this entire half. them both. So the score remains 57-40. Brown takes it in and spins it in off the glass very nicely, giving them a 19-point lead once again. A.J. Williams scores again. Good job of moving his feet by Johnson. Now he comes up with a steal. Great defense. Mincy to Richmond, and we've got a... Come on, man, no. <laughs> we've got an offensive foul. Are you kidding me? Gabriel comes out. Drawn comes back in. I'm not even going to comment any further on that foul call. They called Richmond for a foul, and he just hit. Brown just hit him in the face with an elbow. So that's got to be like Richmond's third or fourth foul now. It's at least... That's at least three fouls because he's just picked up two in the last 15 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. 
And Brown's second is good. And it's 61-42. Richmond to Jones. Jones for three. That's off. Lewis to Daniels. Here's Brown. Good spin move by Brown. And they call Ed Mincy for illegal defense. I have to, but I wasn't watching, so I couldn't say yes or no. Daniel's out, Jones back in. 62-42, lead is 20 for Palm Beach. Brown, not that time. Rebound up and good by Graham. There are times when it almost seems like there's six Palm Beach players on the floor. Another flight turnover. And it's Palm Beach ball. Graham to Jones. Three seconds, yeah. I was gonna say. Jones was in the lane so long he had like a he had a fire lid, he was roasting marshmallows in there. He was in there for a long time, I'm telling you. Good play by Williams to retrieve the ball. And he scoops it in. Sixty-four forty-four, And a near steal, but they get it back. And drawn is fouled. That one's against A.J. Williams. Drawn scores. Second one good, and it's sixty six forty four as we play the last two minutes of the first half. St. Remy's back into the game for Mincy. And that's another foul on A.J. Williams. That's at least three on him. So the fighter in some serious fouls trouble heading into halftime here. Lewis's first free throw is no good. Second one is good. I believe a 23-point lead is the largest Palm Beach lead of the game thus far. 67-44. Malcolm, strong move to the hole, doesn't get it to go. Brown to Drawn, Drawn for three, no. Lewis tried to follow slam, didn't get that one to go. And there's a foul against Drawn. Going to the line will be A.J. Williams. Where would the flight be without A.J. Williams this half? 
who's probably got about half their points at this juncture of the first half. LaDonche Johnson scored a lion's share of their first few points, but it's been mostly Williams since then. <laughs> With a few uh, long-range bombs thrown in by Ed the Microwave Mincy as well. <laughs> Both of them good. 67-46, lead back down to 21. There's a steal. Bad pass by Lewis, and here comes Williams. May have been a double dribble there. Baseline St. Remy. That's way short. Almost to carry by Graham. Lewis to Drawn. Jones for three on the baseline. Missed badly. Oh. Mishandled by Williams. And we're down to 42.3 seconds to play before the halftime buzzer. Palm Beach with a 21 point lead and the ball. Brown, no good. Brad Miller, number 44, is in the game for flight. Brown gets the foul this time. And actually, that one could have gone against Richmond as he gave him a little shove. I was afraid that's what the official was going to call there. But Richmond goes to the line to shoot a pair with 25.4 seconds to go before halftime. <laughs> Officials have several to make up before it's even though, so I'm not even going to worry about that too much. This can bring the lead under 20. Yep. Delay a game against Malcolm. For some reason, Malcolm felt it necessary to interfere with the ball after it went through the basket. Palm Beach playing for one shot. Brown's right-handed floater is good. Sixty-nine forty-eight, and after we reset the game clock, we'll be ready for action again. So here we go. Ten seconds left in the half. Good pass, Johnson into St. Remy. Oh, the pass goes right through Brian Miller's hands. It's a great look. Pass had a lot of zip in it, I will say that, but. There's a near steal. Short jumper, no good. Follow up, no good, although I don't think it would have counted anyway. And that's your first half as Palm Beach leads 69 to 48. The main core of the flight players logged a lot of minutes, picked up a lot of fouls. It's going to be tough sledding in the second half as they try to overcome a 21 point deficit. We'll be back for the second half. Second half action is underway. Johnson picks up his dribble, gives it to Mincy. 
Baseline three, book it. There it is, the microwave. If you smell what the microwave is cooking. 69-51, Lewis misses a left-handed throw down and here comes Richmond the other way. And they call that against Banks. Richmond really draws contact. So we played just under a half minute. Flight have the first three of the half and are attempting to get some more. LaDonche decides not to shoot the three. Ten on the shot clock, Richmond takes it in. He scoops it in. Single scoop, but it was still really good. Gabriel flushes it, and again hangs on the rim for a half an hour, no call. And A.J. Williams gets rung up with another foul. Gabriel misses a free throw. And it's 71-53. Here comes Mincy. Hey, go Mincy? Oh. Let's take, man. Tried to take it to the hole and draw the foul, didn't get the call. There's a steal by Mincy. And they call a flight ball out of bounds. Got a little helter skelter there for a second. Richmond for three. That would have been a big one for the flight. Mincy with the near steal. He's able to rake the ball out of Dron's hands, but he was out of bounds. But a good hustle by Mincy. Dron takes against Russell. Good defense by Kamar. Oh, there's a steal again by Mincy with the fast hands. A.J. Williams. That was some really good body control and ball handling at the same time. 71-55, lead down to 16. And a rebound by Johnson. Here comes the flight the other way. Richmond. Richmond lays it up. He scores and a foul. And the lead is 14. Flight have come out with a renewed sense of urgency here early in the third quarter. Hopefully they can keep it up. Richmond's free throw is good. And just like that, a 21 point lead is down to 13. And there's a steal. Good anticipation by Williams. He takes it in and he has it knocked out of his hand. No foul, so it will be flight ball out of bounds. Mildly surprised the Palm Beach coaching staff hasn't called a timeout. on the shot clock now as Williams inbounds the ball. Gives it to Mincy, almost goes over and back with it. Richmond draws the foul again. That one goes against Drawn. 
Richmond making sure he leans into his defender every time he shoots. Banks arguing with his coach on the other end. Richmond's free throw up, and no good. But he's got one more, can cut the lead to 12. No, oh, in and out, missed them both. And another steal by Mincy. Up by Johnson, he lays it in. Richmond wanted a call, doesn't get it. Now we got a timeout. Okay, I thought Richmond was going to get, get rung, rung up for a technical, but instead it's a full timeout as the flight have come out on fire and cut the lead to 11. A little bit of role reversal. Palm Beach not taking care of the basketball this half. And the flight taking care of it. And taking advantage of the Palm Beach mistakes. getting ready to take the ball out, doing a little politicking with the official. And there's a missed shot by Brown, a rare miss. Rebound to the flight, bad pass by Johnson. That was a weird looking shot. He, all in one motion, he grabbed the ball and just sort of flung it up from the right baseline, but Brown got it to go. And that was a big basket by Palm Beach. 73-60, Johnson cut off. Kamar Russell for three, that's well short. Gabriel back in the game gets the rebound. Pass intended for Lewis is broken up. Brown's three-pointer no good. Now Gabriel, Gabriel misses. Good defense by Kamar Russell. Out to Banks, Banks head fakes. That shot way off. Rebound by Russell, now it's taken away. And Banks has a layup. Kamar Russell was in there all by himself trying to fight off here for Palm Beach guys. Webster back in the game, as is Jones. Gabriel and Banks come out. Seems like the flight have lost a little bit of that energy that since the timeout. Richmond for three, no. Brown to Webster. Webster. There's the steal. Pass to Johnson. And a follow by A.J. Williams. By the time Delanche was able to control the ball, he was a little bit too far into the basket to convert that layup. But luckily, Williams was Johnny on the spot. Meanwhile, on the other end, a nice move by Brown. Brown's got a ton of points tonight. 
Mincy to Richmond. Richmond trying to draw the foul, doesn't get it. Now we got another foul against Webster. I'd hate to see the number of minutes that Webster's played versus the number of fouls he has. He's, it's at least four on him, and I believe he's probably actually played about three or four minutes of this game. Johnson against Lewis. Takes it in and scores. Nothing Lewis could do about that one. Good strong drive to the hole. Lead back to 13. 77-64. Webster scores inside. Good move by the lefty. Richmond and an offensive foul. I'd like to see maybe Ernest Jones get a crack at guarding Brown. Yeah. EJ's known for his defense. It doesn't matter if he scores or not. If he can neutralize Brown, the rest of the team, there's plenty of scoring out there on the fight roster to... Shown against AJ. That's one of those you gotta just let him have. There's a foul against Lewis. one up and good. That's a little better by Alex Richmond that time. But the lead is still 16. Certainly better than the 21 it was at halftime, but it was 11 just a moment ago. Much better that time around. Adrian Malcolm back in the game. He's going to take a crack at guarding Brown now. Jones misses. Rebound Mincy. Richmond, bad pass. Richmond just got rung up. What's going on? Richmond was saying something to his teammates and the ref thought it was directed toward him and he got rung up his teammates Free throw is no good. Richmond needs to get pulled away from the ref. We don't want to get Richmond rung up again. Oh, 
Lewis left open for three, no good. Here comes a flight the other way. Johnson takes it himself. What's the call? Count the bucket. And the foul goes against Brown. That cuts the lead back down to 13. Richmond's still politicking. He needs to let that one go. <laughs> Richmond's saying, don't talk to me right now. His teammates are trying to cool him down. He says, don't talk to me right now. What's that all about? No one's really quite sure what's going on. Free throw, no good. Now what's the call? He's going to get to shoot it again as there's a lane violation against Palm Beach. So he can cut the lead to 12. Flight need to channel their energy toward the game. And he rattles it home, so the lead is 12. 81-69. Five and a half to go still here in the third quarter. Lots of time left. Malcolm guarding him closely. It's a little yapping going on between these two teams now. And typically these two teams are, typically these two teams are fairly Friendly and classy. Media timeout. I think it came at a good time. Well, the game has gotten more interesting because of the score, 81-69, but I sincerely hope the tempers don't get out of control here. Lewis to throw the ball in to Brown. Takes it in, missed the layup, rebound. Delonche Johnson, bad pass. Picked off by Webster. And there's a wide open three for Brown. He missed it. Flight catch a break, and Jones is fouled. Who's that foul against? Play goes against Delonche Johnson. That wasn't a particularly bad foul. It just seemed like it because of all the stuff that happened right before that, right before the timeout. And Jones gets one to go. So lead back to 13, 82-69. Johnson guarded by Drawn. Malcolm head fake. Russell, Richmond, lays it in. 
And the lead is back down to 11, 82-71. Brown takes it in. Oh, great shot. May have been a foul as well, but he banked it in. 84-71. This has been the Fred Brown show tonight. Russell for three, no. But Mincy runs it down. Inside to Russell. Richmond for three, no. And here comes Lewis the other way. Malcolm hustles back. Russell misses, or make that Lewis. Lewis misses. Webster with the left-handed J, no good. Good drop pass. There's a steal. Here comes Richmond, you know he's gonna try to draw contact. Malcolm lays it in. Unselfish play by Alex Richmond. 85-73. The lead is 12. 3.37 to go before the third quarter buzzer. There's an air ball. Rebound Mincy. Oh. The high dribble by Johnson. Couldn't control it. Jones out, Gabriel in. Lewis out, Daniels in. Graham also in. And Drawn takes a seat. Eighty-five, seventy-three is your score. Job, Did that go off Webster's foot? Did that go off Webster's foot? They say no. St. Remy in, Delanche out. Good take to the hole by Brown. Flight can't control Fred Brown. Mincy picks up the loose ball. He shoots. Too strong. Come on, get back on D. This time the flight do a good job getting back on defense. Scoop by Graham, good shot. <laughs> Malcolm out, Jones in. I think Jones is going to have his turn trying to guard Brown. This is what I called for earlier. Good head fake. No call. What's the call? Moisture on the floor, I think? Who's going to get to the ball first? St. Remy and Graham go flying, both of them still down. St. Remy's up, but Graham is still on the, on the court. My cameraman Clayton saying that Graham's face got uh, sort of 
forced into the floor. And he's going to go into the locker room. So the fight are going to have the ball with two on the shot clock. I hope all the flight players are aware that there are two seconds on the shot clock. St. Remy has to shoot from long distance with a hand in his face. Doesn't get it to go. Webster takes. Mincy grabs the rebound. Good job, Mincy. Comes out with it. And they call travel. Eighty-nine seventy-three. The lead is sixteen. There's a steal by Mincy as he picks Banks' pocket, and now he's fouled. Oh, okay. Now we have a technical called against Palm Beach. So Mincy's going to have two. Let's see who's going to shoot the free throw. That technical foul was on Banks. After he got his pocket picked by Mincy, apparently he showed his frustration somehow. Yeah. Mincy drills the first one. Lead is now 15. Second win, nothing but net. Oh yeah, man. One more for the microwave. There you go. Lead down to 13. And it'll be flight ball to boot. St. Romina Mincy, he spins, loses the ball, gets it back, loses it again, gets it back again, loses it again. And now Palm Beach has it. Good head fake by Webster, but he blows the four-footer. And here comes the flight the other way. What a game. St. Remy in, out, and back in. And the lead is back down to 11. Flight have not been able to come any closer than 11. Oh, Gabriel got an easy one. Mm. Not much you can do about that. St. Remy for three. Short. That would have been a big one. Rebound by Palm Beach, and this is Webster. That fell against St. Remy. 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Flight have cut a 21 point halftime lead down to 13. I'd like to see him try to get it below 10 going into the fourth quarter. Jones getting after Banks now. And he takes it a hole and scores. Ooh, I think Richmond may have gotten away with stepping out of bounds there. Whoa, what a shot. Circus shot. There's a steal. Good D. Saves it to Mincy. 
seconds to go in the quarter. St. Remy lays it in. And the lead is back down to 11. Five seconds to go in the quarter. Oh, good pass. Oh, the flight had a the flight had a four and zero run out. If they just had a few more seconds. But the flight have cut a 21 point lead to 11 going into the final quarter. It's now 93-82. We got a game on our hands. I just hope the flight core players have enough gas in the tank left to finish this one out. All those extra minutes in the gym, the extra running, the extra weightlifting is gonna be necessary right now. Oh, before we start the fourth quarter, we're going to have a uh, raffle drawing. I know the uh, I know the raffle winner got some magic tickets, uh, an autograph signed team ball, and I know uh, admission to the next uh, flight game at the Amway Center. Webster with the three, ninety six eighty two. So now lead back up to fourteen. What a teardrop! by Alex Richmond, <laughs> 96 84, 11 and a half to go. Be back to 12. They could just somehow get it under 10. This is Daniels. Eight on the shot clock. Brown, too strong off the glass. Gabriel follows, he thought he had it. Didn't get it to go and here comes St. Remy the other way. St. Remy misses. Webster can't get it to go and it should be flight basketball. And it is. Richmond Jones. Jones left wide open. Oh. It's usually a pretty good three point shooter. Daniels drives in, misses. Mincy to Richmond. Richmond to Jones. Jones left wide open. He scores. White had numbers and they took advantage of it. And the lead is 10. That's the closest they've been in a very long time. And there's a seal. Here's the runoff for Richmond. And it's an eight point lead, 
And Palm Beach needs a timeout. 96-88. 10-11 to go. Lots of time. 10-11 is an eternity in basketball terms. Momentum's a funny thing, Clayton. Daniels inbounds to Banks, who's back in the game. Good defense by Mincy. Crossover. Banks just went down, and there's a travel. Mincy looked at the ref like, are you going to call something? Finally, they did. Banks executed a nice crossover, but then went down like a sack of potatoes. Flight can cut into an eight point lead. This is the first time they've been below 10 since the first quarter. Here comes St. Remy against Drawn. Gets a screen from Richmond. To Mincy. 15 on the shot clock. Mincy over to Jones. Jones takes it in. He lays it in. And it's a six point game. 96 to 90. Here's Webster. He traveled, no call, drawn. No good, rebound. Good box out by St. Remy. Flight come running the other way. Richmond, Richmond for three, no. Rebound, Palm Beach. Webster, what's the call? They call a block. Who's the call against? Just as important as the call itself is who it's against. It's against Jones. 96-90, Webster at the line. 9.02 to go. First one, no good. All right, hey, boss out! Second one, up and good. 97-90. Remy draws a double team back out to Richmond. Richmond fakes the three, takes it inside, in and out, rebound. Palm Beach, drawn comes the other way. Good hustle by Mincy to cut him off. Daniels, no rebound. Ball goes off Mincy. Palm Beach gets another possession. Fresh 24. The miss by Banks, he blew the layup, but Daniels was there. Too many opportunities for Palm Beach that time. Kamar Russell takes it in. He scores! He draws the foul. 
And the lead is back to seven with 8.25 to go. Kamar Russell took his head, put his head down, took it hard to the jar and scored. And drew the foul. Send Remy out, AJ Williams back in. Delonche Johnson back in as well. I think this is the right combination of guys. <laughs> what did I miss, Clayton? He said, he said whoever's got a 45, he's got no post in Wow. Gabriel wants to show he does have some post moves. He scores and draws a foul. Gabriel's going, what did you say? Delonche <laughs> saying, don't, don't give him any motivation. Don't give him any bulletin board material. Oh, another rebound, another rebound. Drawn fakes the three. Ooh, that, that hit the top of the backboard. That should have been flight ball. There's three refs out there. Oh no, oh no. They call a foul. They should have called a jump ball. Should have been a jump ball, ref. That's terrible. AJ Williams racks up another foul. Terrible. Seven forty to go. It's a nine point lead right now at one hundred one ninety two. Webster gets a Gabriel screen. Jesus! Gabriel has to shoot. Shot clock violation. Good D. Exactly seven and a half to go now. Flight need to cut into that nine point lead. Richmond. Ladonche Johnson for three, that's short. But Ernest Jones gets an offensive rebound. AJ Williams back to jo Jones. Ah. Missed the three. Lewis takes it the other way. There's a steal. AJ Williams comes the other way. Flight have numbers three on two. Yes. Williams, a lefty lay in. 101 94. Ah. 6.50 to go. And we got some crowd activity going. Oh, nice layup by Banks. That's a good play. Let's go! 102.94. Make it 104.94. Johnson scores. Thought he might have gotten away with the travel there. 104.96. Thanks. There's a flock from behind. Now they call a foul. Who's the foul on? Foul's on Ernest. EJ picks up the foul. Thanks will shoot a pair. Eight point lead, 104.96. Flight fans are 
Ryan's making a lot of noise. Kenny yeah. does not get the first one to go. It's quite a few, a contingent of flight fans behind us, in addition to the ones that are in front of us. Brown back in the game now. Six oh five to go. One oh four ninety six. He missed them both. Rebound, Kamar Russell. What's AJ Williams gonna do? Fifteen on the shot clock. Still dancing around. Gets around. Gabriel scoops it in. And it's a six-point lead. 104-98. Under six minutes to go. Brown against Delonche Johnson. Way cross court to Lewis. Lewis stepped on the line. Flight basketball. Six is the closest they've been. They can cut it to four with the basket here. AJ Williams for three, no, that would have cut it to three. Ernest Jones. Oh, near steal. Flight catch a break there as Lewis misses the layup. AJ Williams, Richmond for three. Yes! AJ Richmond. Alex Richmond, rather. Cuts the six point lead in half. And it's now 104 101. 4.52 to go. Brown gets a fortunate bounce after he ricocheted off Ernest Jones. He was left wide open. Delonche Johnson, Williams, head fakes. Nearly traveled. Ernest Jones for three. He's got it. EJ dials long distance and it's a two point game. 106 104. 424 to go. Listen to this crowd. Thanks. There's a steal by Russell. Gabriel gets it back and now we have a held ball. Gabriel does a great job of calling timeout. I think Gabriel called timeout when he had possession of the ball. Now it's a media timeout. 106 104 with 408 to go. coaches say keep taking the ball to the hole they can't stop us when we take the ball to the hole <laughs> 106 104 Palm Beach still with the lead they have the ball out of bounds And there's a 24 second shot clock violation. There's only a couple seconds left when they took the ball out of bounds. Flight, can't believe I'm saying this after a 21 point deficit at halftime, but the flight can take the lead with a three point basket this time down. 404 to go. Here comes Delanche, Kamar. Stops and shoots, no good. Rebound, A.J. Williams. Might have a second chance. He got fouled, no call. And E.J. runs it down. Flight call timeout. 
Ernest Jones was hung up underneath the rim, so they smartly called timeout. Okay. Woo. Okay, okay, good. Nice, Ernest. So it'll be flight ball out of bounds. Nine on the shot clock. I heard the same five words over and over again in the huddle. Take it to the hole. I hope the message got through. Here's the launch. Richmond. Richmond lost his balance. What's the call? Do we call timeout? Okay. Full timeout for the flight. It's the same thing Gabriel did on the other end a few minutes ago. Smart play. Delonche Johnson looks like he's a little bit gimpy. Three forty-four to go. Flight have only six seconds to shoot. Six on the shot clock. So Flight have the ball with six to shoot. Trailing by a bucket, 106-104. Here comes Richmond. Three, two, one. And the shot clock runs out as he runs into some resistance at the rim. Somebody get up on Brown. It's Ernest Jones. Draws the assignment this time down. Banks thought about it. Back to Brown. 10 on the shot clock. Good defense by Johnson. Gabriel tried to follow. That's flight ball out of bounds. Good help defense by Delonche Johnson cutting off Brown, forcing him to take a tough shot. 3.14 to go. Flight once again can tie with a bucket and take the lead with a three point basket. Johnson takes it in. AJ Williams, good head fake. He drives in, he ties the score. And we are knotted up at 106. And there's a steal by the flight. EJ shoots. Oh, it dances around the rim and does not go in. Oh. So we're still tied at 106. Unbelievable comeback by the flight. Win, lose, or draw. Banks lays it in. 
Would have liked to have seen Kamar step up and challenge that one. 108, 106 Palm Beach, 221 to go. Johnson to Russell. He takes it in. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot a pair. up and good by Kamar Russell and it's 108 107 second one up and good we're tied up again at 108 two clutch free throws by Kamar Russell listen to this crowd Uh oh, this is Brown. To Banks. Drawn for three. That's no good. Rebound with Dante Johnson. Come on, it's the lead. AJ Williams brings it back out. A minute 45 to go. 15 on the shot clock. To Dante Johnson. Richmond for three. It's good. Alex Richmond dials long distance and the flight lead by three. Can you believe it? Brown takes it in. Has it poked away from behind by EJ. Out of bounds. Palm Beach ball 12 on the shot clock. 119 on the game clock. Brown takes it in. He misses. Now we got a whistle. Foul goes against Jones. Brown's going to go to the line to shoot a pair. I didn't see a foul, really. Wow. As many threes as Brown's been hitting, I figured the free throws would just be academic, but he missed it. He missed them both. Rebound Russell. Pass to the Delanche. He takes it in. He shoots. No good. Tip up. No good. Saved by Russell. The right to Gabriel. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Under a minute to go. Flight's still up by three. We've got to jump ball. Whose ball is it? Are they going to do the old-fashioned jump ball? Russell with a big height advantage. Or Delanche, excuse me. Oh, but Palm Beach controls the tip. Alex Richmond nearly got it. 48 seconds to go. Flight need a stop right here. Gotta love the crowd. Long rebound, or long three, excuse me. By Banks is good. Wow. Ties the score 111 with 39.7 seconds to go. 
If someone would have told me Banks was going to shoot that, I'd say, go ahead. But he drilled it. And we're tied at 111. Flight have 21 to shoot, so there's plenty of time. Now the clock reset to 38.4, so that's what we have to deal with here. Richmond against Banks. Richmond goes in. Banks does a great job of stripping the ball. And it's five on four till Richmond gets back into play. And there's a layup by Drawn with 18 seconds left to go. Richmond tied up, now we got a jump ball. Check that, we got a foul. The foul goes against Brown. 14.6 seconds left. Richmond's gonna be at the line. Richmond needs them both. Fourteen point six seconds left to go. One thirteen, one eleven. One thirteen, one twelve. One more just like that one. It's good. Are they going to play it out or are they going to call timeout? They're going to play it out. 10 seconds to go. 8 seconds to go. Banks takes it in. Shot blocked. 4, 3, 2, 1. AJ Williams lays it in at the buzzer. It counts. And the Florida Flight have won. 115 to 113. That is the most unbelievable, improbable comeback that I've ever seen. Down 21 at the half. The Florida play come back and they literally win it at the buzzer. That was incredible. A.J. Williams kept the flight in the game in the first half and the second half he won it for him literally right at the buzzer. 115, 113 to play capture the win over the Palm Beach Knights. Well, we're undoubtedly going to be doing some interviews after this. How about that? Okay.